Okay, so... Yeah! Big sale today. You can't find prices lower than here. Baby, stay with me. Da, 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 da. Which ones? That's all you need for coming. Which one? You shakes. You made it. That's all. Eggs. Which one? That's all. Eggs. You made up your mind, you shakes. You made up at some eggs. You made up at some eggs. Done already? Thanks. Come to think of it. Much obliged. You gotta tell no. By the way, I owe you one. Good to see you. What'd you bring? Wanna sell in bulk? Sure, it's a deal. Uh huh. I got some stuff you might find useful. Everything look good here? All right then. Everything look good. All right then. I never felt like da, 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 da. That was your great. It's all yours. Baby, stay with me. Da, 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 da. That was your all right then. You gotta tell no. Da, 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 da. Everything look all right then. Everything look all right then. Da, 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 da. I never felt like. Uh -huh. What are you looking for? Everything looks good. All right then. What do you got? How many are you? Sure now. Sure. It's a deal. Sure now. All right. How many are you selling? You're handing. All right. How many are you? Sure now. All right. How many are you? Hand? Sure. It's a deal. How many are you? Hand? All right. How many? Sure. Sure. How many are handing? Sure. How many are? All right. How many are handing? All right. How many? Sure. Sure. It's a deal. All done here? Come back soon. You gotta tell me. about that one, but it sounds like a lot of food. Hmm, what to do? I've 
heard you can eat more if you reduce the number of times that you chew. But then, I don't think you'd be able to really taste the food if you ate that way. Hmm. I think I'll just go with the regular set meal. Okay, I'm ready to order. Oh, that was really good. It had a strong flavor, but went down so smoothly. Food from a restaurant always tastes so amazing. You know, before I moved into the dorm, I'd never really eaten out that much. My parents always said that eating at home would give me more time to study. And whenever we ate, that's all we'd talk about. My upcoming tests, my post-graduation plans. Yes, I suppose it was. Thinking back now, I don't even really remember the taste of my mom's cooking. I... I really didn't want to disappoint my family. That's why I tried so hard to meet their expectations. But all they ever said to me was, try harder. I was never good enough for them. And I think that's a big reason why I never had any confidence in myself. Too, wasn't it? Lightly crunchy on the outside, but soft on the inside. I'd like to try making some myself one day. Plus, I bet it would be fun to make it together with someone. Oh, but I'm not quite ready for that yet. I'd probably make so many mistakes. You think so? But if it doesn't come out well, wouldn't I just be wasting everyone's time? I'm a little afraid that it might turn out like that, actually. Oh, say, could I ask you for one more favor? I'm thinking I'll take this opportunity to study how to make gyoza, like the ones here. Just so I have more options when cooking for everyone. Welcome to the Velvet Room. This is your progress so far. This persona, yes? Is this acceptable? Inner strength. 
Are you finished? We look forward to your next visit. Detective called me this morning and said he found my wife and son. He said they're running a small restaurant. Sounds like it's pretty popular among the locals. My son's married. His wife is pregnant. Sure makes me feel old. I ain't coming back till I earn their forgiveness. So, I'll be out of town for a while. I decided the next time I saw your face would be the day I leave. So I'll be going tonight. I'll get down on my knees if I have to. If my son wants to sock me in the face, well, that's fine too. I, I've been thinking about proposing to my wife again. Even though I'm not so good with words. I'm gonna say... I want to recite the sutras with you by my side for the rest of my life. Well, how's that sound? You don't know nothing. She's gonna burst into tears when she hears that. No copy in it, all right? Might not mean much coming from a monk who couldn't relinquish thoughts of the family he lost. But I was finally able to face the fact that I was drinking to hide my true feelings. It was... an enlightenment of sorts. <laughs> it's all your fault, kid. I was lecturing you all those nights. You know, started reminding me of my son. Maybe Buddha sent you to help me. <laughs> I gotta admit, I believe in fate. If I'd not met you, I don't think I'd ever see my family again. I owe you, kid. I am thou. Thou art I. The bond thou hast nurtured hath finally matured. The innermost power of the Tower Arcana hath been set free. We now bestow upon thee the ultimate form of the Tower within thyself. Shake it. You get a cocktail called XYZ. Movies and manga often use the initials XYZ to symbolize the end of something. But I consider XYZ to be the best of the best. It tastes so good going down. I'll be praying that your future will be XYZ. So long, kid. Something worth looking at from here? 
The moon is almost perfect. It'll be full in just three more days. So it would seem. I have no intention of relinquishing my abilities and living an empty life. To continue existing as we are, or to die powerless. I hear you. I know how important this is to you, Takaya. To us. We can't afford to lose it. And besides... Jin? If the Dark Hour disappears, we might forget everything that happened, won't we? I'd forget you and Chidori, the things we did together, our time at the facility, all of it. To me, that's a fate worse than death. I couldn't care less if that damned facility got erased from my memory. Having this uncontrollable power forced on us, watching everybody we knew disappear one by one. There's just one thing I refuse to forget. Back when I was trapped in that living hell, you spoke to me. Thanks to what you said, I learned how to keep myself going. Your words gave my life meaning to Kaya. If I forget that, I won't have any reason to be alive. <sighs> it may not be much of a purpose compared to yours. It was just a couple of words, I know. But they meant the whole world to me. So I can't lose this fight either. Is that so? Well then, why don't we find out together? Whom will fate elect to choose? Them or us? <laughs> right. Kid, thanks, kid. Bye bye.
Oh, it's you. Welcome back. By the way, so dance if you want to go ahead. We do whatever. Oh, that's right. John, I bet you're having fun though. <laughs> All right, knock yourself out. I wonder if Koro Chan's as hyped up as I am. There's only two days left. I'm feeling pretty anxious about it. Everything will work out, I'm sure. Welcome back. You sure are as playful as always. Hmm? What's that you got there? Wow, you found something good. You've got quite an eye there, Koro-chan. <laughs> you look pretty pleased with yourself. Well then, why don't we head back? Probably all heard already, but Miyamoto's knee is in bad shape. If you see him having a hard time, I want you to stop him immediately. That's it for today. Let's grab a bite before we head home. Sorry I needed your shoulder again. And I was the one who suggested we go eat. Yeah, I'm sure you love lugging all this dead weight around, huh? Really? Well, I guess you haven't been complaining. I mean, I've always known you were tough. Sometimes when I go to my sister's to play with my nephew, I help him into the tub. Even though he's only five, he's still pretty heavy. Must be hard having to do that every day. If I can't walk, then I won't be able to go to school or bathe by myself. I won't even be able to go to the bathroom on my own. And I don't want to do that to my mom. This all hit me on our walk over here with you helping me the entire way. Hey, let me know if I become a burden on you, will ya? I'm not gonna hide anything from you. 
So I hope you feel like you don't have to either. I feel guilty for making the whole team worry. But first, I have to win at the regionals, no matter what. For their sake, too. Tomorrow will finally be our last operation. Yeah. We've been through so much over the last half year or so. Don't you think? <laughs> Honestly, though, you always seemed exhausted. Hey, it was way better than just doing nothing, right? Besides, we made some new friends. <sighs> yes, that's true. Not a single thing we've done has been for nothing. It's been two and a half years since I got this power. And it's been worth it. Sonata-san. Don't forget, we got to meet Koro-chan too! Still, two and a half years is a long time, Sonata-senpai. Oh wait! It's been even longer for I guess, hasn't it? I was in stasis for much of that time, so I haven't been operational for very long. How about you, Kirijo-senpai? You got your start before Sonata-san, right? Hmm? Me? Yes, it was just me at first. Of course, Seas wasn't around back then, and this was just a regular dorm. Did the chairman recruit you too? No, he didn't. I've been aware of the Dark Hour since I was a child. Once, my father's research team was ambushed by shadows while they were investigating Tartarus. When I witnessed the attack, I awakened to my persona. That's what happened? Apparently, I was the first ever to reliably control my persona. If that had never happened, then maybe none of you would be going through this right now. Senpai... Someone would have gotten involved eventually. It's not like we could just ignore what the shadows do to people. I suppose that's true. Tomorrow is our last operation, so make sure to rest up tonight. Oh yeah! You have my thanks. <laughs>